rice water exploded all over YouTube. It was a new craze that promised overnight growth. But if you want to know the truth about this trend and whether it does help stimulate hair growth or if it does more damage than good to your hair, then keep watching. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Iman. Today we're gonna to be talking about the infamous rice water. This is a video you do not want to miss before you try it. So let's first begin in talking about what is rice water and how does it work. So the Yao women of China have been using rice water for centuries and they all have hair that reaches up to their toes and I'm not even joking. Their special recipe involves them washing their hair with rice water every single day. They believe it makes their hair strong, thick and really deep black. That's right, even the older generations do not have a single grey which is absolutely fascinating. Rice in itself does have a lot of benefits. It's full of amino acids, nutrients, minerals that all can contribute to stimulating hair growth and getting that more shinier looking mirror like ow that hurt my eyes kind of hair. Now I'm skeptical for two reasons. So number one, they rinse their hair in fresh flowing river water every day. You can be sure that there are no hard water, there are no bleach or any sort of harsh chemicals that is in treated water that me and you use. So I have a hunt that this river is actually contributing also to their hair. So you can't look at rice water in isolation. The water is definitely has a higher pH and I'm sure this contributes to the stunning silky floor length hair that these Yao women have. Number two, this method is used by Asian women. So the rice water method actually originated during the Heian period and Japanese women attributed their beautiful, silky, long, thick hair to using rice water. Now, not just any rice water, this is the leftover rice water from rinsing rice, and they would use this every single day, letting it ferment, and then applying it to the hair. Now, what do these women have in common? So the Chinese women of Yao and the ancient Heian period, the Japanese women, is that their hair is very, very similar. It's indigenous to Japanese and Chinese women. They all have really sleek, really shiny, black silky hair and you see that typically even today. Now that is a massive clue into why rice water might not be right for you. Before we get into that, into the juicy truth about rice water, I did want to bring you guys today's sponsor, Glaze. They have sent me the Glaze Super Color Conditioning Gloss and according to them, aka a tinted moisturizer for your hair, aka a magic potion to give you the best hair of your life. I was so excited to try this formula because it's enriched with babusu oil from the Amazonian forest which gives your hair an extra glaze, a lovely gloss finish. It gives your hair conditioning nourishment treatment while colouring it at the same time, giving vibrancy to your hair without the harsh chemicals, without ammonia or any parabens. I was really impressed by their brand, super unique and they have 10 shades and I went for luminous licorice. I wanted to try their black shade, especially when my hair is pretty light at the moment. I went on holiday uh, and I came back and it was quite gingery. It had like brassy tones. The glaze lasts up to 10 washes. You want to use it on dry hair and I applied it to my brittle, dry, dehydrated hair. I left it on for 10 minutes. I actually forgot gloves. I left it on for 10 minutes. I rinsed it out. No shampoo, no conditioner and here we are. I really love it. It's made my hair very soft. The colour, I'm so impressed. It's so deep. It's really vibrant and it really has completely changed the colour of my hair. So I didn't think it was going to be this dark, especially from non-permanent hair dye. Pretty impressive. And it's made my waves a lot more defined. Really happy with the results. Use my code EMEN20 to get 20% off. As nutrient filled as rice water is, it can actually be quite damaging to your hair due to the amount of protein that it has. The water absorbs this protein and can actually create more harm than good. This is called protein overload. When there is too much protein and not enough moisture, it can cause your hair to look dry, brittle, and no one, literally no one on this planet wants that. Not to mention it can worsen a dry, flaky scalp and actually cause more dandruff. Benefits of rice water can be seen within the hour. All of these overnight treatments literally make me cringe because having that amount
amount of time with fermented rice. And with fermented rice, leaving it for that long can open you up to having reactions with your root and your scalp. What's worse is that some rice contains arsenic and this is gonna be transferred to your hair when you use it. This specifically relates to anyone living in the US. Now, rice is grown on old cotton fields and they used to use arsenic as an insecticide. Now, this arsenic is still around. The residue of the arsenic actually is within the water that the rice absorbs to grow. For some reason, brown rice absorbs this twice as much as white rice. However, there are alternatives. So you can use basmati rice, which is normally imported from Pakistan or Indian, and they don't use arsenic. So rice water is not for everyone. If you have hair like the Yao women, more likely than not, you are gonna respond very well to rice water to this treatment. But how can you know that your hair's gonna respond well to it if your hair doesn't look like the hair of Yao women and isn't that deep black silky hair type? What if your hair is curly or wavy or straight or thin or afro hair? The way to know is understanding porosity of your hair. If you have low porosity, then no, please do not use rice water. Stay well away from this treatment. This is because it attaches to your hair rather than absorbing the protein, and that's when you can get protein overload. Alternatively, if you have high porosity hair, your hair will just absorb these proteins, making it healthier, stronger, and more shinier. So I bet you're wondering at this point, what is porosity, and how can I know what porosity my hair is? Well, I got you, sis. We're gonna be talking about how to know what your porosity is grab yourself a glass of water clean hair strand and let's go the float test this is called the float test take a few strands of clean hair so make sure there's no product build up fill a glass of water put a few strands into the cup wait two to three minutes now if the hair stays on top of the glass of water doesn't sink then you have low porosity hair if it goes to the middle you have medium porosity hair and if it sinks straight away you have high porosity hair so low porosity this means the cuticles are really close together. Medium porosity, they are kind of a little bit close together. High porosity is cuticles that are widely spaced. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do a dedicated video on porosity and how you should care for your hair depending on the porosity. So there you have it. Use rice water with caution. Make sure you're using rice that is not contaminated and be careful with the usage, how often you're using it and how long you're using rice water for. If you're looking for a change to test out some different hair colors without taking the plunge and spending a fortune in the hair salon and you just want an update and a more shinier hair gloss look, don't forget everything is linked in the description to get yourself a bottle of glaze to try it out and get the same salon shiny look. Thanks for watching, I will see you guys in the next video.